Hey everybody, welcome them to another episode of Daddy Knows Best. My name is Josh, I'm here with my buddy Gio. What's going on, people? And today we're going to take a look at a little game called Super Hot for the PC, Mac, and PlayStation 4. Now, Gio, do you know what Super Hot is? I have no idea, but I'm, okay. I'm, I'm thinking it's a little hot. It's a little hot. A little, it's a little hot. This little. game is pretty awesome. It's on Steam right now for $25. It's a little steep in price. But let's let's uh let's take a look at what we got going on here. So when I first heard about this game, I heard about it on a website and I was like, I need to check this out. I was looking at it. it was, I mean, what do you think this game is just by looking at it? Um, I don't know. It looks sort of like you're hacking into some type of system or something and I don't know. It looks interesting right. so far, it's a little creepy. So basically the whole premise of the game is you got a buddy of yours that's sending you a video game over an internet portal and he's sending you the files they hacked into the developer's website they got the game early and that's the whole premise of the game Hmm. so right now we're loading into their version of the game and this is it this is super hot wow looks pretty cool right yeah it actually does okay there are no colors other than the colors that make the most sense so basically this is the world that you're going to be in um, so now, what do you think the game is? Um, I think it's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you play Super Hot. Every time you move, time moves forward. When you stop, time stops. So it's kind of like the Matrixy in a way. Okay. Okay. So it is a first-person shooter, but I like to think of it more like a puzzle game. I just took a shotgun blast to the face, and <laughs> we're gonna start over. So that's. I like how you can see the the actual bullets flying. Like that's pretty badass. Yeah, it leaves it leaves like a cool uh, a trail effect on it. I'm trying my best now to um, see how best to tackle the situation. This is why I call it a puzzle game because, you know, you gotta think about what you're doing. So right now, I punch this guy, right? His gun flies out his hand. I grab it from the air, and then I just blast him. Okay, and I got this guy nice. creeping up behind me. Now, there's a cooldown timer on the actual gunshot itself. Like you shoot the gun, you kill the guy, and you have to wait a couple seconds for it to reload. But the only time it reloads is if you're moving. I was just about to ask yeah. that. Okay. So, if you stay still, it's not going to reload. It's So, basically, all time stops when you uh, when you stop. Wow, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen anything like this before, so that's interesting to see something different for once. Yeah, and you know what? It's kind of cool because, like... Ooh, shot to the face. Shot to the face. You get a. <laughs> you have to really think about your moves and every all the characters, all, all the enemies move in kind of like the same fashion. It's not really like they're super crazy AI, um, but as you can see here, now I'm thinking about my next move. So I mm-hmm. kill this guy. I know this guy's gonna come from behind me, so I'm kind of ducking. I know this guy's sitting there. He has a machine gun, so he can do some real damage, but he's not moving. I took a shot at him, but I got shot from behind. So this is the game. This is basically 30-something levels of uh, you going in there and figuring out how best to t- tackle this uh, um, the the different various puzzles. Um, yeah, so the object is to kill everybody? Yeah, the, the object of the game is to kill everybody in the level. And once okay. you complete the level, you can actually... It plays a video of it of you doing it in real time. You can go in there, you can scrub out features that you didn't like, you can make a little, um, you see I threw my weapon at him, I'm waiting for it to hit him, and then all the weapons explode when you hit um, the enemies with them. Wow, that's Uh, pretty cool. So, the good thing about it is, you can use it, like, later on in the game, you get things like katanas, you get things like baseball bats, everything that's highlighted in black, you could actually Mm -hmm. pick up. Okay. So at one point in the game, you can you're in a bar and you could throw like a beer bottle at somebody. You could throw a um, there's like a pool table. You could throw the throw the pool balls at the at the guys just to like disorient them. I tried to throw my gun. I <laughs> failed the there. <laughs> and it's so one thing about this game, it's pretty it's pretty damn hard, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's cool, you know. It's I've never seen anything like it. And you know, first person shooters, you just go in, and if this is real time, you. You just go in there and kill everybody in there. But now, one scene of a 
typical first person shooter can take literally minutes, you know. Yeah, to, wow. To complete. I'm really feeling that. Definitely gonna try it out. So this game is I think the the feeling that I felt most while playing this game is uh kind of you got to you got to think of every single possibility that might happen. Like you have to lead your shots. Like usually in first person shooters, you just aim and shoot. Here um since everybody's moving when time moves, um hmm. You can you actually shoot in front of them so they could actually run into the bullets. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's a pretty you know different take on everything. Yeah, definitely. And it's good because you could um, you also could try different things and like, kind of like figure out a sort of system where you know you know if you die you already know well if I did this this and this and I and I made it to this part then I could at least continue doing that and figure out from that other part. Okay, which way should I go in order to, uh, you know, make it across or kill the the rest of the enemies? Yeah, and I like the game gives you like the on screen like it's pretty cool. The game gives oh, you, you can the, jump too. That's cool. Yeah, when you jump time, like if you hold down the jump button, like you yeah. can jump in slow motion. And I just had a, I've had a, enough about this guy, so I just put like <laughs> five bullets into his face. And every time you beat a level, this happens. So. Wow. What do you think the name of the game is? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? It's super it's a hot. <laughs> or hot super. <laughs> it's got a creepy voice. Too. It is, right? <laughs> now, this is one of my favorite levels. This is actually the level right after the one that we just looked at. And this one had me stumped for a little bit. I actually took my time with this one. Um, I think I died maybe two or three times, but... This just gives you another look at the level of, uh, the, the kind of level of detail that they put into, that's why I keep calling it a puzzle game, because you have to, you have to really choose your method, like how you execute, uh, you have to count your bullets, you have to make sure that you're not shooting too many or else you're going to end up without, um, ammunition at certain points of the game. Super Yeah, definitely pick it up. Yeah. Especially if you're into, you know, PC games or um, first-person shooter type. Right. I, I wouldn't click. say you could play this game around children. I'd say this is kind of like a nighttime game, like you know, yeah, get ready to go to nah. bed. Um, but it's definitely fun for other people to watch you play. I think you know, you sitting here watching it with me. Um, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about the art style? How do you feel about what, what you're seeing now? It's definitely intriguing. I, I I'm really liking it. Um, kind of wish I had a PS4 so I could actually get it. <laughs> but, uh, Missed, totally missed that guy. I missed him again. I was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let me just grab his gun out of the air. Yeah, now I'm in trouble because I got a couple guys shot him. Nice. Okay, he's dead. Threw my gun again. I don't got nothing, so I'm going to pick up this glass. <laughs> I'm going to throw it at this guy. <laughs> I'm going to punch this guy in the face. <laughs> wow, I like it. <laughs> and that is sick. my best friend with the. Uh... Oh, I was so close. Somebody oh, got me from man. behind. Um, I wonder, do you think they're going to have, like, is it a type of game where they'll uh, add more levels to it? I think so. I think this game right now is for $25. It's kind of expensive for what it is. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that they can definitely add more stuff to it. I would say, that, well, 
one of the recent updates added a endless mode, which is okay, kind of well. like a horde mode or something like that, to where um, you can just keep, just keep going, going until it, yeah. yeah. Uh, see how far you can which is pretty it. cool but like the levels themselves i would definitely go back and play uh another level um, oh yeah you can try different ways yeah and there there's secrets things. in each level and i've heard that you can shoot bullets out of the air i've heard things like you can uh take your katana and cut bullets in half so oh my god wow <laughs> yeah that's i want to try that definitely want to try that and there are achievements for it yeah so What's our daddy verdict on this one? What What do you think it's gonna be? Is it gonna be a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with thumbs up. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I think yeah, this this definitely. game is definitely one of those type of games that you could pick up and play. You could play for a little while. You could play. You know, you can play it in one sitting. You could binge play. Um, mm -hmm. You're bored. You just want to throw it on. You right. Play I, a couple levels and just move on. I wouldn't recommend playing it uh, in front of children because it is kind of violent. You know, you're shooting guns and whatnot. I wouldn't recommend you playing it with your child, but it's a definitely it's a good uh, grown up game that you can play. Yeah. Um, oh, one thing is it a two player game? It is unfortunately not a two player okay. game. Uh, it is a one player game. That would be something very interesting to yeah maybe to, not to, later on down the line. Yeah, I mean, why not? You could do a split screen um, type of deal, but that would kind of be kind of funky two people moving time and you guys actually oh, have yeah, to communicate true. and i don't know maybe they can make it work And that's super hot, man. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, you don't see this uh, every day on you know a lot of games, so I think for them to come up with something new and a uh, different perspective um, could definitely get a, a, a good crowd into uh, liking the game. Sweet. Well, that's been another episode of Daddy Knows Best. I'm your host, Josh Vasquez, here with my co-host, Giovanni Pacheco. Later, guys. And for more information on Super Hot and the latest video games, as well as articles and parenting from a video gamer's perspective, keep it locked to thegamermind.com and visit us at The Baby Cast on every week. We have a podcast called The Big Baby Daddy Cast. And if you wanted to find us, where, where can they find us, G? You can find us at www.thegamermind.com. You can also check out our Instagram and Twitter page at the Gamermind underscore. Both uh, the same username for both. So uh, yeah, hit us up. We're always posting things on a regular basis, and we appreciate you guys listening in. And uh, I hope you continue to support us. Awesome. Well, thank you, Gio. Uh, thank you, Josh. Take care. Keep gaming.